faith honors God. Therefore, God honors faith. When God speaks and you dare to believe him, he rejoices to bring his words to pass. One evening, according to Genesis chapter 15, God took Abraham out in the night. I said, Abraham, lift your eyes, look at the sky. You find it in Genesis 15. If you read from verse 3. Can you count the stars? He said, no. And he said, so shall your seed be. Dr. Duwale, at that time, Ishmael had not been born. The story of Ishmael came in chapter 16. Talk less of an Ishmael was 14 years older than Isaac. Ishmael had not been born. Isaac had not come. And according to the scripture, Abraham was as good as dead. 90 something year old man. And it has stopped being with Sarah after the man of women. That's to say, Sarah has stopped seeing her period biologically, physiologically, conception was an impossibility. And then God said, that's how your children will be. And he had earlier on told him, he said, look, Eliezer, your servant, is not going to be your heir. The one that will come out of your loins. Huh? It looks so improbable. So far-fetched. All the natural circumstances that surrounded Abraham were saying no, no, no. And that's one of the greatest battles you, you, the enemy will bring your way. The enemy wants to contend the promise that God has given you. The enemy wants to make God a liar. The only one to let you know that you can't believe that. Huh? He said, by stress you are healed. Okay, look at your body. You are still feeling pain. He's a lie of the devil. Alright? Now, look at what happened. Verse 5, Genesis 15. Look at the relationship. The interplay. And he brought him forth. God did. Abroad. And said, look now towards heaven and tell the stars. He that be able to number them. And he said unto him, so shall I see it be. Verse 6 incredible scripture and he believed in the Lord the New Testament says against hope he believed in hope when it was hopeless when it doesn't look like it will ever happen all the evidences pointed to the other direction but because God said it that's all God said it God said it my body line up with the word of God. My thinking line up with the word of God. My uh, environment line up with the word of God. He be against hope. He believed in hope. And that was what made him become a father of nations. Look at verse 19. Look at what the Bible says here. Yeah? And being no weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. His body was dead. All right? When he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. His body was dead. Sarah's womb was dead, and God was saying, You have a child. Now look at this. Now, look at verse 20 now. Look at what about he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Verse 21, please. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able also to perform. God will perform his word in your life. When we're saying God will do great things in your life, look at it. What, where is the great thing? I'm living in a rented apartment. What's the great thing? Somebody, you are listening to me now. You came to this meeting from a rented apartment. According to the word of the Lord, you will hold the keys of your own house. This year, this year, this year, this year, this year, and you will know that God has sent me to you. 